Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for stopping by. This is another episode of Memories of Blackpool Bygone Days. And this is just my memories, my thoughts of growing up in Blackpool. In my last video I talked about playground games. So in this video I'm going to talk about other games and toys and things that were popular back then. Now when you're talking about what games you wanted most while you were growing up, there are three that immediately spring to my mind. Three games I wanted. One was Mousetrap, the other was Kaplunk and the third was Operation, the Mad Doctor's game. They actually took that tagline out of Operation at some point. Oh, that nice rainbow there. I'll be zooming on that. That's beautiful. It's sort of the things in life that make you smile. Yeah, so Operation, Mousetrap and Kaplunk. And I wanted those games. I really, really wanted those games. Never got them as a kid. But we did sort of get Mousetrap and Kaplunk. And Operation, I suppose. But it was my little brother and sister that got them, and my littlest brother was around nine years younger than me. So I never got operation when I was little. But Kaplunk looked brilliant, and I always wanted to play it. And there was this one time when one of my friends bought it to school because at the end of Christmas term, when we had our school party, we were all allowed to bring games into school and one of my friends bought in Kaplunk and I remember having a go of it and I was like, Ugh, do you know what? It ain't that much fun. I mean, it was fun, but I expected it to be brilliantly fun. And it's like when my little brother got mousetrap and I played that, well, sometimes the boot wouldn't hit the stop sign and sometimes the elastic band would ping off the crank and you had to be really meticulous at setting it up and also you had to be really lucky because a lot of the times the mouse trap thing didn't work. Operation was good, I've got to say that, but the thing with operation is it was sort of like a very easy video game. It really did not take long to master. After you'd had it for a few days, it got pretty easy to get any bone out you wanted to with those little tweezers. Another game I used to play a lot was Snakes and Ladders and Ludo, but we tended to only play them at my grandma's because my grandma and granddad my, on my dad's side, they had snakes and ladders and Ludo and I would go and see them, take my little sister down every fortnight or sometimes I'd go with my big sister and on alternate weeks my big sister would go with one of my other brothers because there were five of us all together so we kind of used to take it in turns and go down in twos to see my grandparents and it was great because my grandma always did fish fingers and chips for us on the afternoon lunch which was a real massive treat because we never got that at home and she had this crinkly chip cutter where she would slice the potatoes in slices and myself or my sister we would hold on to the crinkly chip cutter and cut the final chips from the slices but yeah, we used to play Snakes and Ladders and Ludo with my grandma and granddad. And one of the games I remember, and it'd be interesting to know if anybody who watches this video has ever heard of this game, because most people who I speak to don't remember it or they haven't heard of it. It was called Miss World. And the board was really, really big. Or childhood me remembers it as being really really big it was bigger than the monopoly board anyway and the game counters were actually four little dolls so you actually played with a doll and there was miss uk miss america miss jamaica 
and Miss Scotland. And we used to play, I used to make my dad play with us, and my dad, bless him, he was a great sport. I'd always be Miss UK or Miss Jamaica. My sister was always Miss USA, and my dad always had to be Miss Scotland because Miss Jamaica and Miss UK were mine, and Miss USA was my sister's. So my dad had to be Miss Scotland. And you would you'd throw your dice and go around the board, and it would say something like, break a nail, go two steps back, or free may go for the beauty parlour, take an extra throw, you know, things like that. And when you got to the end, little bit you went round this little square and if you landed on a certain thing or got a certain number you won and there was a little cape and the little crown what you would get if your little character won and I remember when my dad won we'd be like oh, come on Miss Scotland put your cape on put your crown on and we would make my dad dress the teeny little doll in its teeny little cape and teeny little crown So if you remember hearing about or playing the Miss World game, because I don't think it was a really well known game, but not like games like Pluto or Monopoly, what everybody's heard of, but yeah, Miss World. Another game I used to really like playing when I was a little bit older was Pluto, and I never ever played that until I was really a like, young adult about, well, teenager, young adult, I was about 17, 18, 19, and my best friend was like, you've got to play Cluedo, you never played Cluedo before, I'm like, no, and I got hooked on Cluedo, it was great fun. And games that my little sister and brother would play, they were things like frustration, you know, with the automatic dice thing and you'd, the dice was like in a little plastic dome and you pressed it and it would kind of just shoot up against the dome and fall and the advert used to say a popomatic dice because they thoroughly made up the word popomatic and another game which I remember but I never got to play I always wanted to have a go of it it was called battling gladiators and really you just got they were spinning tops with a little string or something and you put your top around your little string around and pulled it and they all spun around on like this little plastic board dome thing and basically the last one standing was the winner I think it kind of worked like an early version of Beyblades or something like that then there was another one. Oh, I can't think of the name of it now. Oh, Rebound, that's it. When you would fire this little thing on this. That was another one that looked great on the adverts. So when you got to play it, you were just like, oh, that's boring. Yeah, Rebound. But I remember as a kid, once it got to November, December, the TV adverts would just be bombarded with toys, like really almost hypnotic. I don't think they do that today, or if they do, I don't notice. Probably because I'm an adult, my kids are grown up now, but yeah. In games my kids played when they were younger, oh, well, and my little brother and sister played when they were younger, Hungry, Hungry Hippos. I think that's still around today, it's been around for many years. But I played that as an adult, I used to play it with my son. Hungry Hungry Hippos was great. Because I bought like loads and loads and loads of extra marbles, so you just play it for ages. Oh, and another game, just remembered before I go, Buckaroo. Again, that was another one that looked brilliant on the advert, but when you got it, it was a big fat let down. So you go, Buckaroo, it's ideal, partner. So how many of those games are still around now? 
I think mouse traps are this around in some shape or form but I don't really take much notice of frames and stuff because my kids are growing up so I don't really look on what is going around today so let me know if you remember any of the games I've mentioned and let me know if you remember any that I haven't mentioned because I'm sure I'll remember them as well once you mention them and I hope you enjoyed this episode so please leave me a like and a comment if you did like the video and I will see you all very soon in the next one. Goodbye.